Hey YouTube, welcome back to another edition of Broken Big Boy Toys and today I'm working on the Celine again and the calipers have started to rust up if you haven't seen the other video I did cross road rotors, calipers and pads and um, the new calipers are starting to rust so today I'm going to be painting them red and then later on I'm going to put a um, Celine decal on the front calipers so I'm going to paint all four calipers let's do this thing. First thing you're obviously going to have to do is you're going to have to jack up the car and um, my car I actually had to put a wood block underneath my wheel because this car is on um, a full saline suspension which is a two I believe and a half inch drop so I have it sitting right now on the little donut that's underneath the a-arm and then before that I loosened up the lug nuts so they're hand um, loose you just want to spin these off now obviously <laughs> and um, take off your rim to get to the um, caliper. I've already started to do this but for my um, calipers being that they started to rust I'm taking a red scotch brite pad you can get those from any like parts store I'm taking it and I'm just sanding it just like that back and forth to get these prepared to be um, painted. So after that one of the next step would be to um, tape these up you want to tape your rotor your pads you don't want any of this paint on anything I have the brush on kit though so I don't have to do as much masking all right so I just got done scotch spreading and taping up my um, calipers so the next thing is to do the um, prep prep surface thing this is the dupa color Well, this is just the beginning of the first coat. It's obviously not super uh, perfect because it's thick and not fully covered yet. So we're just trying to get the cover of it first. And then from there, go back and try to clean it up on the second coat. Looks pretty good from a foot away. Looks pretty nice. Uh, you know, I mean, they're not perfect, but they're not bad either. Alright, so I'm done uh, both fronts now. They look pretty good now. This one has to sit for about two hours before I put the rim on. And then, as you saw before, this is the other side. It looks really good. So I still have the Celine decals coming for it. So they will only go in the front. And then tomorrow I'm going to have to tackle the rear um, calipers. Now yesterday I got a really late start. And today is no better. So I did the fronts yesterday. And they look pretty good, actually, I'm not going to lie. And I'm happy with them. And now today is on to the rear. Now this caliper is a little more rusted than the um, driver's side. The driver's side's pretty clean. And I think that has a little bit to do with, I drove the car once in the rain um, this week. And I think I hit a puddle and that must have just created some surface rust. Either way, I'm still going to do the same thing, use a red scotch red pad sand it and then go from there so, kind of a repetitive thing same thing as the front although these are a lot smaller so it should be taking me a lot less time and it should be a lot easier to do these so first thing i'm going to do is again take my red scotch bread pad and start sanding away on this the only thing i haven't showed you guys how to do is this caliper cleaning spray 
And all I do with this is I just take a paper towel and I just spray it on there and then wipe the caliper. I've already done that. So next thing is just to mix your paint. Same thing as the front, mix your paint and go with it. All right, so right now I'm putting back on the lug nuts and uh, making sure that they're tight. And um, the caliper is done. It's got, that one's got about two coats and the front has about three. So, time to do the last one, which is the rear passenger. And the rears took me about, I don't know, about an hour to do. The front took me almost an hour and a half. Alright, as you can see clearly on the cart, it's starting to rain. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm not going to let the rain stop me with one caliper left. So I um, took my red scotch brake pad to it. I um, just went and basically the um, caliper cleaner is basically wax and grease. So it's a degreaser basically. And that's what they're telling you to put on it. Now, they don't even say to use a red scotch brake pad. I'm doing that because if they're rusted, you should probably sand the rust so it doesn't come back through. And I sanded even just to paint just to give it more of a bite to it. So now I'm going to break this open one more time. And I'm going to use my popsicle stick, and I'm just going to spin it up. You can see this stuff is really thick. So, I mean, it's pretty thick. And when you want to stir this stuff, you always want to go all the way to the bottom of the can. So you hear that noise. So that noise is um, the stir stick obviously rubbing against the bottom of the can. And you just want to get the, the like, a lot of mixing in it, so then it's... Not a stick, it should almost look like that. So I'm gonna keep mixing it for a little bit, but I figured I would tell you guys that, cause I know I didn't go over that. So you just want all the hardeners and stuff to be well mixed in there. Because I mean, this is ready to mix, you're not putting the hardeners in there by yourself, so. All right, so I just got finished this last one. This took about three coats, I believe. Looks good. Now I just gotta clean off my brushes and I'll just give you what looks like a round. Well, there's the fronts. There's one at least. That's the other one. And here's the passenger back. I think they look really good, so that's me. I'm gonna let this cure for two hours. So. So the saline decals are here. Right now we're just having a little bit of a problem getting the decal to transfer to the clear paper. So all right, so here's the driver's side. I think it looks pretty cool. They were pretty hard to lay up, um, but in general they look really cool. I think it just adds that little flare that, that, that it needed. And I had these basically color matched to um, all the decals on the car. I had to make them metallic silver. And as you can see, everything else is metallic silver. The window decal, um, the side door decal, and the uh, um, number decals. So I believe on an actual Celine, it would have been uh, black calipers with yellow, but since the car was red, I decided to go with red calipers. So that's using the Duplicolor um, caliper brush on paint. So if you enjoyed the video, give us a big thumbs up and like and subscribe.